All right. Uh, I'm not even really sure what to call this, but this one, this one might, might piss a lot of people off. And you know what? That's fine because all of you definitely piss me off. <laughs> no, but seriously. I guess it could be the two biggest mistakes, in my opinion, that strength athletes make. That's right, powerlifters and weightlifters, I'm, I'm talking to you. I just can't understand or even attempt to make excuses for athletes, athletes. who use their sport or craft or training direction as an excuse to do less work. You don't you don't do more than three to five reps because you're a power lifter. You don't need conditioning because you're a weightlifter. Oh, my favorite. You can eat whatever you want because you're a strength athlete and you don't care about body fat. Just eating fucking donuts and pop tarts and any other sugary garbage because you can, right bro? Like it doesn't matter. You're gonna burn through all that during your workout. Just fucking burn right through it, bro. 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 Huh. What? Let's address this bullshit one thing at a time. Number one, and listen carefully, there is life past one, three, and five reps. Embrace yourself. Side effects may include increased muscle mass, Increased blood flow and circulation. The pulling of waste products of exercise out of the cells. Nutrient transport. Fluid and hydration getting pushed in the cells. That's the pump, bro. Improved neurological connection. You might even get a vein or two. Watch out for stuff like that, guys. You don't want that. Eventually, you might even be able to peel a whole orange without having to stop halfway through to catch your breath. But you don't do high rep sets because it'll take away from your max. <sighs> Whatever. Sliding right into point number two, using your sport as an excuse to eat poorly, or really anything. Listen to me. If you want to eat shit, then own it, okay? Eat shit, that's awesome, whatever. But stop being delusional and trying to convince yourself or anyone else that you eat that way because you think it benefits you in any way. What? Because it doesn't. You eat that way because of your laziness and because of your lack of discipline. And maybe a small percentage of you eats that way because you're misinformed and you don't know any better. But that's a small percentage of you, like, like this big. And here's something to consider. Perhaps, maybe, maybe, maybe the two are related. Maybe the way you're eating or the, the nutrients you're choosing to fuel your body for your workouts and also the nutrients you're choosing to recover in between your sessions is the reason you don't feel up to doing long longer rep sets. Or is it just because it burns? It burns. It burns. Your pain tolerance is shit. What you perceive as a 10 is a four at best. That's giving you something. Let me explain to you what I mean. Here's what happens to your body when you provide it with a shit source of carbohydrates or sugar before a workout. First off, you're probably well above 12 to 15% body fat, which is a pretty solid estimate of where your body should be to be able to physiologically and hormonally handle the excess glucose it's getting from that source from the bloodstream into cells. Well, you're not getting it. Additionally, if that source, that carbohydrate or sugar source is coming from some packaged processed piece of shit, it's going to challenge your body's ability to get it out of the GI and into the bloodstream to use in the first place regardless of your body composition. So, if that shit source even makes it into the bloodstream to be used, your body is going to release a ton of insulin trying to get that glucose out of the bloodstream and into cells. But you're probably systemically inflamed because the lipid bilayer that creates the cell wall of literally every cell in your body is composed predominantly of cheap fat. It comes from things like vegetable oils, canola oils, fried foods, processed foods, which makes the cell wall impermeable, unable to properly take in these nutrients that your body's trying to give it. As well as the ability to rid itself of the waste products produced during exercise. So, more likely than not, the glucose stays in the bloodstream and your body says, oh shit, there's still sugar. So it secretes even more insulin. I can't do a shot. Ever wonder why you're sitting there yawning as you're driving to the gym, sucking down your monster, or shaking up your pre-workout? Or maybe you're one of those fucking savages that just takes the scooper right out of the fucking tub and just goes right in your mouth raw. Sick, bro. Well, the reason is because you have a bunch of excess glucose floating around your bloodstream that you can't even use. You have a massive spike in insulin and a massive crash in energy. And it just keeps floating around. Your body can't use it, so it just lays it down as more fat, more fat, more fat, more fat. And you're inflamed. So you feel like shit, only to suffer through some lackluster strength sets and the thoughts of hitting half a dozen exercises for eight to 12 or 20 reps literally sounds like torture. Not because it is torture, but because the nutrients you're providing your body with are trash. Maybe you provide your body with a more optimum energy source and better nutrients throughout the day to recover in between sessions, you'd be in a totally different situation. So basically the reason you suck is because you're doing everything wrong. Fucking everything, fucking everything. <laughs> And I could tell you what a more optimum source would be. What you could eat pre-workout, but you're not going to fucking listen anyway. But hey, listen, 
above all, I guess I just really can't wrap my head around using your sport or craft. People who train and use the way they train as an excuse to create limitations for themselves. I mean, this is obviously just my opinion, but one of the reasons that I do what I do is to eliminate limitations, not create new ones. I mean, I just feel like I can do like anything physically. And if I can't, I have the facilities, the resources, and really just the ability to practice and work towards it and maybe eventually get there. I mean, isn't that why, isn't that why we do what we do? Like, am I, am I missing something? Nobody's here. I mean, just like, why, like, why, why are you training half-ass or like not as hard as you could or should be and feeding your body a bunch of shit just to like pigeonhole yourself into like maybe possibly becoming better at like just lying back on a bench and just like this, this, Something wrong with his chair. <clears throat> I guess what the takeaway is from this rant is don't kid yourself. Whether it's getting stronger or bigger or whatever your desired outcome may be, it needs to involve a holistic approach. Adding weight to the scale does not necessarily mean adding weight to the bar. Higher rep sets is gonna build more muscle mass and muscle mass is contractile tissue, makes weight move. Fat is not contractile. So just trying to get as big as possible isn't gonna make you stronger like adding more quality muscle tissue will. And avoiding the shit and giving your body the nutrients it needs is gonna put you in the best position to do that. And we've all heard this before, but you don't get stronger in the gym, it's your recovery. That's why nutrition is so important. What you're providing yourself with to carry you through your workouts from a nutritional standpoint, and what you're providing yourself with to optimally recover between sessions is what makes you grow, it's what makes you stronger. And also it's what optimizes the body's system so that you can withstand the stress of training hard. So take your nutrition seriously, make it a priority. It's gonna benefit you full circle. The better you feel, the more work you're gonna be able to do. And it's not more stimulants, it's not more supplements, it's nailing down your nutrition. They couldn't go more hand in hand. That's all I got for today. Tune in next time for another Strength Tip Tuesday.